Good morning. Good morning, dear people. Wake up, Africa. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. Are we here? This is the skills summit, right? Let's taste our skill, the skill of our voice. Good morning. Thank you. It's much better now. So um, it's a real privilege to me to be, for me to be here today. Um, I was ambushed this morning. I just have to say this. So it's not a prepared speech. Uh, but I'm not even here to give you a speech. Uh, I think we all are experts in this room. And there is nothing that I will tell you that you probably don't yet know. So I thought that I would just ask some questions. I'll stare your mind. I'll ask questions that would allow you to reflect. Um, that will allow you to come up with the solutions and the, um, the recommendations that the moderator has set. Tabang, thank you so very much for this wonderful uh, introduction. I'm really, really humbled, and I'm truly humbled to speak in front of you today. My name is Beatrice Achaleke. I'm a Cameroonian by birth, and um, I have had the privilege to be around the world and to work with some really big companies. And just like Tabang said, our moderator for today, or facilitator, I got the opportunity to learn from some of the biggest of the global place, like people like the Bank of America, Walt Disney, and the rest of them. So what I'm going to be saying here today is part of that learning process. Um, my company is called the Globuntu Academy for Happy Minds. So you ask yourself, what does it mean, happy mind? You know, we all talk about leadership, we talk about all things. But I personally believe that a happy mind, someone who is happily, truly happy inside, can be a great leader, can be, can be able to develop their skills better. They can be able to, um, to interact with others. They can embrace others. They fear nothing. If you're really happy, you can embrace the world. So that's why we focus very much on the happiness, the inside happiness, your inside. So you can then, if you transform and you're happy inside there, then you can go out into the world. So what I'm here today to do in the 20 minutes that I have is just to ask you a few questions. A few questions. It's a skills development summit. We're talking about leadership. We're talking about good governance. We're talking about business. We're talking about winning. We're talking about leading. So the question is, the first question is, who am I? Have you ever asked yourself that question, who am I? When I ask you, who are you, you probably tell me your name. But if I say, who are you really? Who are you really? That question is extremely deep. And if you can find the answer to that, which goes beyond just your name, beyond your ethnicity, beyond your gender, it goes beyond your education. It takes you right down to your root, where you come from, and then you get to know the the, on whose shoulders you stand. And believe me, when you know on whose shoulders you stand, you can leap further than anyone. You have no fears. I keep putting my fingers on fear because quite a lot of times, fear, the fear of succeeding or the fear of failing stops us from succeeding. So if you can, if you can master fear, then you are, you are ready for the world. So my second question is, when you know who you really are, so who do you want to be? What does that make you? On whose shoulders do you stand? What opportunities or what doors does that, does that open for you? When you think about Africa, what comes immediately into your mind? Where does your information come from? Do you take your information from the media? Do you take it from public opinion? What is the quality of that information? How does it reflect the Africa that you know or you want to know? I'm very passionate about unveiling Africa. I lived in Europe for 20 years. And believe me, every second of my life, I was reminded of how poor Africa is. I was reminded of how second class we are. I was reminded of how we come from third world countries. I was reminded of everything that was not positive. And I almost started believing in that. So when I made up the decision two and a half years ago to return to Africa, precisely to South Africa, not Cameroon, I made a commitment to learn to understand, and to know and to understand Africa. I had to find the Africanness in me. And me standing in front of you today, I can say many things about Africa. I can smile when, you, when I speak about Africa because I took the time to understand that Africa. And the Africa that I know today, it's an Africa that fits the world. Who believes that? Africa fits the world. We have resources. Take away the resources that the global companies, the world, 
takes from Africa, and you see what will happen. Take away the labor of Africa from the global stage, you'll see what happens. Take away the fact that Africa is the second largest continent in the world, and that we are the youngest. 50% of Africa's population are below 20 years. Europe, 37% of the population of Europe is going to be 65 by 2030. So what does that mean? It means by 2030, we will have every 25 person in the working age will come from Africa. Doesn't that make us proud people? Is that a poor continent? I'm asking the question, is, are we a poor continent? No. So when you know the Africa that, if, when you know that, if you have that information in your hands, and you think about yourself as Africans, what comes into your mind? How do you feel now when you have that information? I walked around this space yesterday when it was being set up. And I noticed that the setup was done by Africans. And I'll say this, black Africans. When I walk into the restaurant, the people that I see serving are black people like me. I'm just going to do this conversation. Pardon me, I have no apologies. When I go to construction site, the people I see are black people. When I go to, uh, where, where is it? Wherever I go, the people that I see that are handy, that are skillful, they're black people. So take us away from that space. For one hour, what will happen? So how do you feel as an African now? How do you feel? So I'm here to ask you questions. How much of Africa do you know? How much of it do you own? How much do you embrace? Just think. We're talking about skills. When you know, I have to repeat this, on whose shoulders you stand, you know the role that Africa plays in the world, and you go beyond the information that you get from the sources that you get them from. You go beyond the school books to ask your own questions and find your own answers. When you do that, you realize how rich you are. How proud, you should not just be proud, you should just be jumping, you should be embracing the world, you should see the opportunities. You should see how important it is to develop your God-given skills. You should realize how important it is to stand up tall. This year we're celebrating 100 years of Mandela. People fought in this country for the freedom that we have. And Mandela, when he came out of prison, he said, I'm not better, but bitter. When I point out the things that you do to sustain the world economy, the South African economy, the African continent, I'm not saying you should be bitter. I'm saying you should be better. Take it and run. Some people did not make it right here. Some people had to give their lives. So we're standing here. We should make them proud. We're standing on their shoulders. So when you walk out of this room, how do you want your ancestors to feel in their graves? How do you want them to feel? Think about it. So I think I have five minutes left. Um, I'm not going to ask many more questions. Uh, I will be around uh, if you have questions. <laughs> but I see someone has questions for me. Uh, I'll just round this up. What I'm trying to say is it is extremely important in order to be good leaders, in order to tap into the market, in order to be successful in the market, we need to know who we are. When we know who we are, then we know how to, the, the, the mark, we can better understand the market. We don't fear diversity. We don't fear people who look different from us. We don't fear people who we think that are better than us in any way. We are better as we are. We are the best of our version if you step into your masterpiece. So when you have that, you can go to the market. You can embrace Africa. It's a big continent, 54 countries. And in those 54 countries, as Africans, we have the market. We have the business. How much of it are you taking? The skills that come from just coming from another African country, are we seeing that? In terms of good governance, we have countries in Africa that are really excelling. Do we know them? Are we ready to learn from them? My facilitator said we're here to learn. We don't stop learning. So when you walk out of this room, I'm learning like her. I wish for us to be able to say, this is what I took along with me. This is what I learned. And this gives me the ultimate permission to step into my next masterpiece unapologetically. So I think I'm done.